the RMIT University Student Union is holding an election. You should vote, but before you do, you should meet the candidates. Earlier on, I met with Matt Vogt. Hi, uh, I'm Matt Vogt and I'm running for Rusu's General Secretary position as an independent. So what do you believe is the key role of Rusu in student life at RMIT? Well, the key role of Rusu in student life at RMIT is to safeguard the student rights and well-being at RMIT. What are examples of those, those rights? So, making sure that when disciplinary action is taken against students, it is done in a fair and unbi unbiased manner. Could you give me an example of what are your most important policies? So, the most important policy that I reckon that my campaign is coming with is that is the promotion of greater mental health services in the in student life and provided by the university. So the medical hub that they've got is it upstairs. Yes, it's upstairs. Um, so the medical hub they've got upstairs and the Are You OK Week they're setting up up this week. It's a good start, but we need to get it so that it is available year round and for anyone that were to require it. So beyond welfare. Um, what are your policies to do with student life? Uh, let's see, student life. I'd like to see more engagement with people in their with their different classes, like running art comps and such, but that might not be feasible. But I'd like to see it. So if, if it were my power to put it on the policy agenda, I'd like to do that. So what would the relationship look like between Rusu under your leadership and the university? So, I'd say whatever it has to be to get the necessary funding for, the, for any program that we want to run during. So, I wouldn't say that it, we would have to antagonise them for money, but I, I reckon that maximising the funding for Rusu to get to fund its clubs and such and other assorted programmes that Rusu is responsible for fully funded and made, making sure that we don't have to cut corners to fully implement them. And do you know what kind of action you would pursue to achieve that change? So we definitely want to negotiate with the university leadership to secure as much funding as we can. Uh, I recently saw that there was a big vote that they had for the SSAF and how they f get that money and how they're distributing it and how people are feeling about how it is distributed. Uh, if I recall correctly, Russo got at least a decent chunk of the preference for what people want to see funded. So, And is Russo spending that money effectively at the moment? If, if we can find a way to make whatever we do get more effective, I'd, I'd like to see that happen. Now, what are your commitments to the transparency of the union and student media on campus? I'd like to see the more of Rusu's activities being open to, to criticism by the student electorate. I'd like to see the reports have more details about the going-ons inside the Rusu bureaucracy. I'd also like to see more of the student media on, across campus, like more than just being relevant for media students wanting to get their media projects going. Like, this is the second time I've heard of the Swanson Gazette, for example. I'd like to see more students know of the different media groups we've got floating around and see them on in and around campus. Now, what I'm really interested in is about you yourself, Matt. It's a quite a bold move to participate in this kind of electoral democracy as an independent candidate. Yes. So where did that come from? Uh, I told people last year that I, I would be a candidate in this year and I'm committing to my decision. <laughs> okay. Do you want to see some change? What's really motivating that? Uh, let's see. Really motivating me to change. So I, I walk around campus and see there's always never enough tables or never enough funding for whatever the projects are trying to get on. And I'd, I'd like to see some, some of the resources getting, some, getting the density of the study spaces increased. So I'd like to see more tables, more chairs, more places that people can study. Uh, I'd also like to lobby the 
the relevant department, and I'm pretty sure it's municipal, to get the um, the restrictions on on the, the restrictions for people smoking similar. So I'd like to see them at university to be similar to the restrictions that are already in place for primary and secondary education or facilities. So I'd like to see a 12 meter no smoking zone around the university buildings. So that which would hopefully cut down on the amount of people that are outside, say, building AD and everyone hates that. Now it's important for students to know exactly who they're voting for. Um, are you a member of any clubs or organisations here on campus? Uh, I am a member of, of two clubs on the university campus, so I'm part of the Liberal Club and the Christian Union. Okay. Would that influence how you um, conduct yourself as General Secretary? Uh, it does influence my belief that, gov that budgetary prudence is a virtue of good governance, so I would want to make sure that we're not spending more money than we receive. We're covering the entire student union election, so to stay tuned with that coverage, check out the Swanston Gazette on Facebook, Instagram, and on our website. I'm Lloyd Connolly, reporting for the Swanston Gazette.